Hi Leo, welcome to your general love reading for July 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Leo. And it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. Also, the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Leo, let's see what is going on with you in July. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Chariot crossed by the Seven of Wands. Ooh, okay. So some of you might be dealing with a Cancer, or maybe you have Cancer in your charts. Um, wow. <laughs> Talk about a blockage here and defensiveness. Um, either something seemed to be moving too fast and so somebody is blocking it or somebody is really wanting to take action here and to actually move um, in a particular direction pretty quickly but uh, they're really holding back big time, big time. It almost feels like maybe things even felt a little bit out of control either for you or for them or for the both of you. Um, so there was just like this, okay, wait, stop, stop, stop. It's like that. Let's see for you. We have the Ten of Cups, the Moon, and the Tower. Ooh, Leo, okay. Um, okay, so this is a connection where you felt like, it, like this is just what you want. This is your happily ever after. This is your love story. This is the person you want to be with and feel like you could be very, very happy with. Um, but there's, you're either in the dark about what's going on here. I feel like there's a lot that is being hidden, possibly maybe you are also hiding and it feels like you might be going through a crisis a little bit or feeling like, you know what, this is just done. Like this is just never going to happen. It's impossible. Like that, it's like that dream is feeling like it's being destroyed. Let's see for the other person. We have the emperor the King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, Emperor and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe this person is, um, this person might be married for some of you. It doesn't have to be, um, but for some of them, they could be married. They might also be a parent. Okay, I'm getting a strong, like, masculine father figure here. Again, it doesn't have to be, but that could be the energy that they are in, feeling like, um, like they just really have a lot of obligations that they need to be in control of um, whatever life circumstances they are in. But it definitely feels like they have some kind of a, either a big responsibility or um, like they're tied and committed to something that they are in charge of and feel a sense of responsibility to. It could be anything. Um, this is proving to be a little bit of a challenge here for them. We'll see more when we clarify. Let me see the potential outcome here. Oh, we have the lovers. All right. And this is also Gemini energy. We also have Aries showing up. We also have Earth signs. Um, oh, and Pisces. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, the potential outcome here with the lovers this could definitely be some kind of a coming together, okay? Or at least the door opening up to a union between you and this person or possibly even somebody having to make a choice here and being in that space of making a choice. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's clarify. So for the chariot and the seven of wands. Star, all right, Aquarius, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, whoever it is that's like stopping themselves here is really wanting this really, really badly. Um, there's a lot of desire to move towards this connection. But again, it's like there's... Um, There's this, okay, stop, I can't. I need to take it slow. It does feel like whoever this is is kind of thinking about it though a lot. Um, 
possibly trying to explore the different alternatives or solutions to this. Um, but for the most part, it's like they're, they're trying to just not give much to this, even though that desire is like crazy strong. So I don't think whoever this is um, can actually block this out for too long. I feel like they felt like, like this energy was just building up or the momentum was building up. And then it just felt like it was so out of control or just too much for them too fast. And so they like hit the brakes. All right, let's see. Ten of Cups for your energy here. The Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of like letting go of this dream um, because it was too much of a burden to carry for you. So you're, it's like you're just letting it go, allowing it to just be what it is um, because it just feels like it's just not going, going to happen. That's what it feels like. Let's see, let's see the moon. The page of cups and the fool. All right, so we do have Aries showing up again. There's a lot of emotions here. There's still a lot of emotions here. Um, at least on your side. We're, we're going to see what's going on with them once we clarify their energy, but there's definitely still emotions here from your side. Um, but I feel like you're just kind of keeping them to yourself because, you're, you, again, you're just not sure which way this is going to go, and so that's why you're, you're releasing it. You're letting it go. But you're also in the dark about what is happening here with the other person. I feel like you really don't know what is going on with them and whether or not they, they're going to, you know, go back to that chariot, which is similar to me at this in this context with the with the fool. Like are they going to take that risk or start moving again in that direction? And so because of that, it's like you're allowing yourself to move in a new direction of releasing this. To some extent, at least. Let's see the tower. The Three of Cups and the Five of Swords. Oh, okay. So there's a lot going on here. I don't necessarily see this tower as being like something very negative for you. I mostly see it as, okay, you know, it's allowing this dream that you once had, this happily ever after, this fairy tale story, to just um, not be anymore. Like that fantasy or that desire of a coming together with this person, you're allowing it to just kind of go away. You're releasing that. Feeling like what I thought was not true. I was mistaken all along. I thought this person was coming back or I thought that it was going to work out or I thought that we were going to be together, but it turns out I was wrong. That's what you're feeling here. Um, and again, I feel like something is not being shown to you. All right. There's something you're not, you're not seeing. We have the five of swords here. It's almost like this is like a deception in some way, either because that's not really what's happening, but it's okay for you to feel that way and, and to take it as that, right? Because you have to take things at face value at the moment. I agree with that. And that's the message I'm getting here. Um, either that or you haven't really released this as much as you think, which is also okay. That's okay. And it could even be both. Um, let's see. Let's see what's going on with this person. I feel like it's mostly that you don't. You just don't really know what's going on. This is just you really, this five of swords, this is you feeling like you were either betrayed or misled by this person or by the universe or by your own ideas or by your own beliefs. But it's going to be okay. It is going to be okay. Let's see. 
or the other person. The Emperor. The Three of Swords and the Six of Cups. Okay, yeah. Um, so, for those of you that the parental figure resonated for, um, it's coming through again that, yeah, this person might have children and there's a lot of pain and heartbreak heartbreak attached to that for whatever reason. Like this person is feeling like they really need to stick to this role. Um, and in some way, I feel like that's part of their, their blockage here. Um, for others of you, it's like this person is really standing their ground. Um, really feeling like they need to be in control of whatever it is that's going on in their lives. But then that's also creating pain for them because there's this deep longing for you. Let's see the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles again and Judgment. Ooh, okay, so they're beginning to get some kind of a wake-up call, especially in terms of either this role or whatever responsibilities um, they feel like they have or don't have or should have or shouldn't have, okay? Because it's really going to depend, um, especially revolving around commitment. There's a major wake-up call, all right? And it's going to be different for each of you, so we're not getting the specifics here in terms of what. We're just really getting strongly this um, King of Pentacles energy, Right, so again, it could be in terms of work, it could be in terms of commitment, in terms of family. Whatever it is, there's a major wake-up call as to what it is that is creating pain for them in this role that they are holding so tightly to, which is blocking them from moving towards love or moving um, from their heart. Just because it feels impulsive, this person has a fear of losing control. Let's see the Nine of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles and Justice. Okay, also Libra in the picture here. Um, they're pushing through. It's not easy. There's a little bit of resistance on their end. Um, it almost feels like they're swimming against a tide. And so it's not easy, but they are putting in that effort. They are putting in that effort. It's like figuring out little things bit by bit, right? Making the right decisions in terms of their planning and in terms of little actions that they're taking in order to move them in this direction, right? Towards, towards the lovers. Um, <clears throat> lovers energy, let's see. Let's clarify the lovers. The Hanged Man, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person is really moving towards making, making a decision here in terms of seeing love and fulfillment from a different perspective, like being able to see it differently. Because um, I feel like right now it's like their priority has been some kind of a responsibility, whereas here I feel like they're moving more towards towards love. Almost like taking a step back just to really look at it in a different way and to see, hey, you know what? That's what's missing from my life here. Love. Emotional fulfillment. Like it can't just be responsibility um, and things in the practical, in the practical 3D world. Because it does feel like there was a big, big emphasis and an imbalance in that sense here that was creating pain. So now it's like opening up more to love and to seeing that love is just as important. Love is missing from my life. Fulfillment is missing from my life. So I love that we have the Ten of Cups showing up here, which is, you know, that very first card that was out in your energy. So it's like that person is now also beginning to have that that fantasy, that wanting that happily ever after. 
All right, Leo, let's see if this resonated. Please do give me a thumbs up. And let's get the final message for you. And we have Observer. So I feel like this is, first of all, this could definitely be your person kind of like watching you from afar, thinking about you from afar. But I'm also getting that it's for you to take a step back as well. You know, just let the situation unfold, which I feel it is kind of like what you're doing, right, with that tower. You're just allowing it to be what it is, not holding on to to this desire or this fairy tale ending. You're just being the observer and allowing it to happen as it happens. And that's all you can do. So yeah, Leo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.